Greetings, this is the New York Thrifter and I'm here today with the fifth video in the Flipping 20 Challenge. Anybody that has been following the series knows that I am taking the minimal amount of money, in this case a $20 bill, and I'm using that to teach new sellers or resellers how to list women's clothing on eBay to make a profit. So through the first couple of videos, we sourced our inventory, we gathered materials, we photographed the items, we measured them, um, and today we're actually going to be going on eBay and we're going to be using the listing templates that we created to list the items to put all of our uh, five pieces of clothing up for sale. So if you want to follow along, we are going to be on the eBay website for this entire video where I walk you through step by step how to actually create that listing. And if you need any background information on what to source or how to source or how to create templates or any of the other information, um, if you look down in the description box, I have links for all of those videos and I do suggest you start um, at the beginning or some of this might not make sense for you um, or if you're just having trouble kind of deciphering the listing page on eBay uh, you know go through this and I will walk you through all of the different fields that need to be filled out in order to get an item listed. So the first thing you do is head over to eBay. In the My eBay you can go to Selling and you can go right over to the left side and sell an item. Somebody asked me in a previous video, how do you use a template to list uh, once you've created the template? And as soon as you say sell an item, if you look down at the bottom, it says listing templates. So there's a drop down menu to where you'll be able to choose which template you want. The first item we're going to be uh, writing in is going to be our London Times dress. So I'm going to choose dress. Now for anybody that need, wants to know how to write these templates, I do have a video for that, which I'm going to link uh, down below in the description. Uh, but short answer is right here is create a new template. So you click on that and you write your template. We're going to start listing. And in a previous video, I gave some information on how I write titles. So I'm going to type in what we had done, and that was London Times Women's Shift Dress Blue, White, Gray, Color Block, Career, Size 10. Okay, so I have uh, the name of, or I'm sorry, the designer of the dress. It's a shift dress. I've got the colors here and a little bit more information about the design. It's a color block and you wear it uh, career or work wear and the size. So that's how I write my titles. Again, I have a video for writing titles, which I will link below. Now, because we already have our template created, the category is filled out for dresses. The UPC does not apply. It is pre-owned, gently pre-owned, no holes, rips, or stains. And that is correct. So I'm going to leave that right in the condition description. Next up is photos. Now I take photos on my phone. I have an iPhone 7S or 7 Plus that I use. Um, I really like it. The photos are absolutely gorgeous. And uh, once I take the photos and I look at them and make sure they're the ones that I want, I upload them to the cloud. And once I do that, I put them into different folders. I have London Times Dress right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on all of these because these are the photos that I want and I'm gonna click on open. And it takes a little bit of time for my computer to upload all of the different photos. So I just let it go to work. Now, if you don't edit your photos on your phone, because I will sometimes crop and do things on my phone, that's totally okay, because um, eBay actually allows you to do some photo editing right here on the site. If you look down below, here are some different things that you would be able to do. So you could crop, you can uh, rotate it, you can um, make it brighter or darker, you can sharpen it so if it looks a little fuzzy, 
and then auto adjust and that allows the computer to decide or the program to decide uh, what would make the photo look the best. And so if you want to do any editing, you can do it right here down below. Or if a photo gets in that you don't want, you just click on the garbage can and it will delete that particular photo. So now for the order, the order that you put the photos in, I always like to put a photo that really shows off the item um, in its best light. And I really like this photo for that. And then this is the full length photo of the entire back of the dress. And so I'm gonna move that down a little bit. Before we show the back of the dress, I wanna show the tag where it says uh, who made the dress, London Times. I wanna show the design on the dress, that color blocking. And as you can see, I'm literally just clicking on a photo and dragging it where I want it to be. And so I'm gonna put this photo of the bodice here, and then the photo of the bottom, a full length, a close up of the back, and then what it is made out of. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in this order. Um, the order of the photos uh, is really gonna depend on you and what you wanna highlight about an item. Um, however, I suggest that this first photo, because that is going to be the main photo that people see when they're scrolling through eBay, I suggest that you make it one where you can see the item quite clearly and it kind of shows it off to its best advantage. So now um, item specifics. The brand is London Times. Click on that. Size type. This is a regular size and it is a size 10. And we've already decided that this is a shift dress. So I'm gonna type in shift there. And the material is going to be a cotton blend. So I'm gonna scroll through this until I find cotton blend. For the occasion, um, you can say casual club wear cocktail, festive formal, little black dress, summer beach, or wear to work. This is a career dress, so I'm going to type, or I'm going to put in where to work. Now the length, it is knee length, so I'm just going to click on that. And it is sleeveless, no sleeves on this one. The pattern I'm going to put in as, um, I did say color block, but another way to say that I'm going to be, I'm going to say geometric because there are um, rectangles on the dress. For the color, it has lots of different colors, so I'm going to scroll down to multicolor. And then as for the season, you can wear it any season. Okay. So now the item description. When we made our uh, template for dresses, we put in all the different things that I like to include when you're writing up um, the description for a dress. Now, as you can see, I left this top line blank and I did that on purpose because I like to type in um, the name, the brand name of the item along with what the item is. In this case, it's a woman's dress. Our size is 10. Our colors, it is blue, gray, white, black, and I'm actually going to add turquoise as well because it does have a little bit in that. The design, it is a shift dress. The neckline is rounded. The sleeves, sleeveless and the materials it is 97 percent cotton and it is three percent spandex when we did the length we found that it was 34 inches when we did the underarm to underarm laying flat it was 18 inches and the waist is an open waist so i'm just going to take that right out i'm going to say Great pre-owned condition, no holes or stains. 
Okay, now if you're asking how I came up with that information so quickly, I did not memorize it. Instead, we have a spreadsheet that we're using for the Flipping 20 Challenge, and I'm going to link that spreadsheet below. What I like to do is I like to go through items, and I like to do a whole group of them at once in the spreadsheet, where I, I will go through a dozen or two dozen items. I will do take all of the measurements for all of the items and write it down all of the materials, all of the colors, and I'll put that on my spreadsheet because when I'm listing, I like to sit down and I like to list uh, several items at one time. And if I have the item and I don't have this information, that can really slow me down. So that means taking out your you know, measuring tape and measuring them um, you know, by one by one as you, as you type it in and then putting all the, the stuff down, typing more information in, then when you get to the next listing, you have to pick that uh, measuring tape back up. Uh, maybe you're going on to Pinterest to see what kind of style of dress is, and that just really slows everything down. So by using a spreadsheet and getting all of this information on one page, it can really make listing go a lot faster. Okay, so now format with selling. I like to sell fixed price. There is opportunities to do an auction, but I like to uh, find that just right buyer, if you will. The buy it now price for me is going to be $16.99, but I am going to let buyers make best offers. Okay, I have down that I'm going to be paid by PayPal and my uh, Gmail address there for my PayPal account. And I do require immediate payment, so that is checked. Uh, I do accept returns after 30 days with the buyer paying shipping. And I do uh, sell my clothes with a flat rate shipping cost. Now this is under a pound, so it's going to be going USPS first class. And I charge a flat rate on first class $2.99. So that's all ready to go. My handling time is three business days. And this is going to weigh one pound or less. Once you have all this information in, we're going to click on list item to let eBay know that we want to list that item. Okay, success. You've listed an item for sale. So if you want to, you can uh, complete another draft. We don't have any drafts, so we'd have to complete an entirely new listing. Or you can say, I'm done now. Or you can click here and it'll open up your, uh, your listing. So we've already gotten two page views in the um, couple of you know, seconds it took to uh, press the button. And if you look down this, we've got all of our different photos are right in here. Perfect. We've got all of the information about the dress here. All of the notes. Okay. So anybody that wants to buy this dress, they can click on buy it now. They can add to their cart or they can uh, make an offer. So now let's go on to our next listing and I'm going to click on sell. So I'm going to go down to listing templates where I'm going to choose women's tops and blouses. Start listing. So for this one, the title we're going to be using is 41 Hawthorne Stitch Fix Women's Pop over top blue white chevron size small and again this is a title that we wrote in an earlier video that I'll link the category is tops and blouses the UPC does not apply the condition is pre-owned gently pre-owned no, hole, no holes rips or stains that's correct I'm going to click on add photos to the correct file where I keep all of my photos for this top, I am going to click on them all and open them up. Again, this can take a little bit of time for them to uh, upload into your eBay account, but that's totally fine. As you heard a little earlier, I get text, so if I want to uh, answer any text or hop onto my phone for a little bit. Sometimes I get distracted by doing that. OK, 
okay. Again, if you need to do any editing of your photos, you can use these tools down below, or if there's a photo on here you don't want, you just uh, choose it and touch the little garbage can. Okay, so I'm going to see how I want to order this. The first photo that I want is going to be a full front of the shirt, and then I'm going 41 Hawthorne so they can see the brand name. I'm going to take the tag down to the bottom. Got more of the front here, some more front details. Excellent. Here's another front detail, so I'm going to pop that closer to the top. This is the full back with some inserts of the back and then that fabric tag. So I'm really happy with the way this goes. Um, I start with all of the, uh, the front design and then I move to the back design ending with the fabric tag. For the brand, I'm going to type in 41 Hawthorne, pops right up. For the size, it is a regular size and it is a small. For the style, I am going to call it a, let's see, probably just a blouse. The material, it is made out of rayon. So if you don't want to scroll through the entire drop down, you can just type in the first few letters and it should pop up. Uh, for the color, it is both blue and white, so I'm going to put in multicolor. For the occasion, it is both career and casual wear, so I think I'm actually going to just leave that blank. The pattern is a chevron. Um, no real theme um, that goes along with it, so I'm going to leave that blank. The sleeve style, it is a three-quarter sleeve. And the neckline is rounded. Okay, again, when you go down to the item description, you're going to see that I left that first row blank. So I'm going to type in 41 Hawthorne Stitch Fix Women's Top. It is a size small. It is blue and white chevron. The design, it is a pop over top. Neckline is rounded three button closure, three quarter sleeves, 100% rayon. The length, I'm just looking at my sheet here, it is 24 inches. Underarm to underarm is going to be 17 inches and the condition is gently pre-owned no stains or holes. Okay, so that looks good. We're going to do a fixed price listing with a buy it now for $24.99. Okay, scrolling through, our template takes care of a lot of these. So I'm just going to go down, go down, we're accepting returns. This is a first class package because it is under a pound. So I've got my $2.99 is my flat rate. That is excellent. So I believe that is it. And as you can see, it, it becomes very easy when you create the templates. There's only a few things that you need to put in in order for you to create a listing. So that's really why I suggest using these templates because it really, really does save you time um, in the long run. So I'm going to click on list item. And once that is created, you can create another top, you can um, create a new listing, or you can click on this and you can see, there we go, so you can see the listing that we just created. So you've got all of the information there listed at 24, but people can make an offer here. Excellent, and you've got all of the uh, important information down here. So this looks really good. Okay, so we have three other items that we're going to be listing for this video and they're going to be quite similar to the ones that we did before. I am going to run through them just for anybody who wants the specific details uh, to see it a few more times so you can get comfortable with it. So once you're on eBay, we're going to sell. Now when I'm choosing my template, this is going to be athletic apparel. And I'm going to start my listing. So for this next one, it is an Athleta Woman's 
fastest track top with long sleeves, blue workout size extra large. Okay. UPC does not apply. It is gently pre-owned. I'm going to add my photos in. And here, going to the Athleta top, I'm going to choose all of the photos. And I'm going to open them. Now remember, when you're taking photos, the more photos that you can list, the better it is for your buyer because they get a better look at what's um, what they're purchasing. It's also better because um, I have heard, and this again is speculation because we're not exactly sure how eBay, um, you know, and the, their Cassini algorithm um, really shows the different um, the different items. But we believe that the more photos that you use. Uh, the better uh, the algorithm will treat you, so you will be noticed by more by more um, buyers when they're when they're uh, searching for for an item similar to yours. Now, I did have an image error. Usually, what this means is when I load up a bunch of different images because these are so large. A lot of times, what will happen is um, maybe one or two of them will have an image error, and that's no problem. All I do is I just click that. I click the little X to delete it. And I'm going to go back, and I believe it was this image, and we're just going to try it again to see if it'll upload it. And it did, so we're all fixed with that. Okay, so now I go through and I see what order I want it in. So that is the full front. It's a detail. It's a, the thumb hole there, which is good. Up close of the front, the pattern, and then up close of the back. This looks good. I'm going to move this tag up a little bit higher. So that is one of the things because Athleta is a great selling point for this. And then I'm going to move this a little higher because this shows the full front. So I want that there up in the front. Okay. So for the brand, this is Athleta. This is going to be a shirt and top. When you have athletic wear, um, you're going to notice that the item specifics are a little bit different from other item specifics. Um, you know, they mix around the, you know, the leggings or the pants with the tops and the skirts and different things. Um, you know, that's totally cool. You just get used to when you're listing anything in athletic wear. It just looks a little bit different. This is a regular size extra large. The material, let me check. It is 50% polyester, 45% nylon, and 5% spandex. So there really is no way to say that. Um, there is one like for polyester. Let me see. So you have polyester, and then I believe there's a like uh, poly uh, cotton poly, but that doesn't uh, poly cotton, but that doesn't really apply here because there is no cotton there. So whenever I'm questioning. Um, with material, I actually will just leave this blank because I do talk about the material in the description. So we're going to go long sleeve. And as for sport, a lot of the women's athletic apparel, I will click on uh, fitness and yoga because that's exactly what it's used for. Now for the color, it's blue. And for the pattern, it is you um, solid is one of the choices that you can choose. Um, I'm actually going to type in heathered and the reason I'm doing that, let me scroll back up to show you. When you look at this design, it's really not a solid. It, it has kind of a mixture of white in with the blue, which is kind of a more, a more heathered look. So that's why I'm putting that in. Okay. So now with the item description, I am going to, in that first uh, row, type in Athleta Woman's, uh, exercise top. For the size, it's an extra large. It is heathered blue. The design. Um, so for this, we know by, by Googling this particular athletic piece, we looked up the style number. It is the fastest track top. Neckline is rounded. Sleeves are long sleeves with Thumb holes. A lot of people really enjoy having those thumb holes on their athletic wear. 
So as I said earlier, we've got 50% polyester, 45 nylon, and 5% spandex. We took the measurements and we found at 27.5 inches in length and 20 inches underarm to underarm. It's an open waist, so I'm going to get rid of that. Condition is gently pre-owned. I almost put gently used, but remember, we're trying not to use uh, the term used because it makes something sound old. So gently pre-owned uh, can just sound better, at least to me. Um, no holes or stains. We are going to be doing a fixed price. So the buy it now price is going to be listed at $24.99. Okay, let them make offers. I've got my PayPal here, accepting returns. This is gonna be under a pound, so we are sending it first class for $2.99. And so we are going to list this item. I'm gonna take a really quick look to show you guys what this looks like. And it looks really good. It's got all of the information that we need, very clear pictures where people can really see um, what they're getting and the entire description right here. Okay, so we only have two more things to go. Let's click on the sell button and get started. For this one, we are gonna be listing a woman's sweater. So I'm using that template. This is going to be a anthropology brand Sparrow women's cardigan sweater. Blue, oops, blue flowers, button up, size small. And I don't have enough room for the entire small, so I'm just going to write S for small. So going down here, I see that it is in the sweaters category, which is perfect. No UPC, it is gently pre-owned with no holes, rips, or stains. And this is going to be a Sparrow cardigan. Clicking on all of the different photos. Ooh, I got 11 in this time, so that's a good number of photos. Although I do know people who absolutely will max out at 12, so they will take just as many photos as it takes to get 12 different ones so they can have all of those included. And sometimes this takes a while, that's okay. Almost there. Um, I usually try not to click on anything else while these are uploading, and the reason for that is sometimes if you start um, messing around with any of the other buttons, it either slows it down or it will get that error message again and you have to re-upload a uh, different photo. It's kind of like um, you don't want to overwhelm it with too many things at once. So this first photo, which is our main photo, is a picture of the entire sweater. This is a close-up, which looks good. Good down at the bottom. We've got some different design work here. Looks really good. This is the full back and some close-ups of the back. And then here is that tag that says Sparrow. I want to move that up a little bit so people know what they're getting. It's a great name, uh, Sparrow. And then for the last image, I have that uh, fabric tag. So that looks good. So I'm going to type in Anthropology for the brand. For the style, it is a cardigan, regular size small. For the material, this is 100% cotton, so it's right there. Uh, for the color, this has got lots of different colors, so I'm going to put in multicolor. For the pattern, I'm going to put in floral. For the occasion, um, Christmas formal prom work. Uh, you can wear it to work, but it's also casual, so I'm going to leave that blank. For the season, um, I don't know, I think it can work for all, maybe not summer, so I'll, yeah, I'll just take that out. Uh, for knit style, I know this is a very thin knit, so I am going to put that in. Okay, for the item description, anthropology 
Sparrow Women's Cardigan. So for the size, we've got small. Now for the color, we did put um, blue in the title and we put in multicolor in the item specifics, but here's where we can really talk about um, what's more on the piece. So I'm gonna say for the color, uh, blue, green, white, yellow, gray, and then I'm gonna also put floral and geometric design. And the reason I'm putting geometric in there is because at the, um, the hem and at the bottom of the arms on the cuffs, you have um, some different uh, geometric design going on there. So I'm gonna put that there. So for the design, I know there is a seven button closure button up. For the neckline, I'm actually gonna take the neckline out because it is a cardigan, so you really don't have the neckline, it just depends on how you close it. It is definitely long sleeves. It is 100% cotton. Now, as you'll notice, um, just because you have uh, different things um, in the template where it said like neckline, for example, doesn't mean you, you have to um, keep that in. If it doesn't fit, if, if, your, if your template doesn't fit what you're listing, then make whatever necessary changes um, you need to. Um, you can add things or you know get rid of things to your liking, but having a template again can save you a lot of time because it's, you already have a starting point. Um, so yeah, so let's finish. So for the length on this, we have 26 inches. And for the underarm to underarm, it is 20 inches. And the condition is gently pre-owned with no stains or holes. Okay, we're gonna do this as a fixed price. The buy it now is going to be, I think we've decided on $16.99. And PayPal is good, 30 day returns. Flat rate, it is under a pound, so we're gonna go first class. The cost at $2.99. Excellent, so click on here to list the item. Okay, so that is listed. If you click on that, you can uh, check out your listing. All right, looking really good. Solid listing. Okay, so now we're gonna go back up to sell. We've got one more item that we picked up for this challenge, and that is gonna be a dress. So clicking on dress, I'm gonna start my listing. So here in the title, I'm gonna write J. Crew Women's Dressy Jersey Dress, black, high waist, ruffle, stretch, size extra small. Excellent, looks really good. I actually might put a period, I think it's J period crew, so that looks good. Um, it is a dress, no UPC, gently pre-owned. Looks good, we're gonna add some photos. This time is the J crew dress. I don't have quite as many photos as I did for the other one, but that's Certainly okay, as long as you give the buyer, um, you know, a really good look at what they're getting. Another thing that I want to mention about photos while we're, we're taking some time to list them is the larger the pixel size on your photos, the better, because that way eBay will have that, that rollover to where if somebody uh, puts their cursor over your photo, it's a uh, rollover to enlarge and they'll get a bigger, um, they'll get a, a bigger size of whatever they're looking at of the photo and that's always a good thing. So I'm gonna put the full front here as the first photo. I'm gonna put that J Crew tag as the second. It's a great selling point. For the tag, fabric tag, I'm gonna put that at the end. So these are just some inserts of the front, which look really good. That's the front again. And that is the back. So I'm gonna take this full back photo. I'm gonna click on it and I'm just gonna drag because I do want it 
to be first. So that's the back, and then that's an insert of the back, and then the material tag. So that is looking good. So for the brand, it is going to be J. Crew. It is a regular size, extra small. And we decided this is going to be high waist. Another way of writing high waist is we're going to click on Empire Waist here. Now it is made of mostly viscose, but it also has some spandex in, so I'm going to leave the material out. Um, the occasion, I would definitely say this is a more casual dress, so I'm going to choose casual. It is made out of a jersey. Uh, dress, dress length is knee length. Sleeve style, it is sleeveless. It is a solid pattern because it is solid black. The color is black. Again, if you just type in the first few letters, it will uh, pop up the, uh, what's in the drop down. For the season, it could be summer, but you could also wear it in spring, summer. So I'm not going to choose a season. I'm going to go to the first blank line for item description, and I'm going to type in J. Crew women's dress. It's an extra small. The color is going to be black. The design, we know from looking this up, again, we Googled this and we found from the style number that's on the tag, this is called the Dressy Jersey Dress. The neckline, I forget, let's go up here and look at the neckline. It is a definite V-neck. So let's type in V-neck here. It is sleeveless. For the materials, we have 93% viscose and 7% spandex. For the length, let me make sure I'm on the right one. Here we go. It is 39 inches long. The underarm to underarm laying flat is 17 inches. Now the waist I'm gonna take out because it is a free waist. The condition is gently pre-owned with no stains or holes, okay? We are listing this as a fixed price for $24.99. Okay, I've got my PayPal information. We are accepting returns. The flat uh, cost to everyone, this is going to ship for under a pound, so flat rate of $2.99. Okay, so I'm going to list my item. One thing I want to tell you, once you get here to the bottom, say that you forget to write something down or you need more information or additional photos for a piece, or you just get busy. You can scroll down to the bottom and you can put um, save and continue later. And if you click on this, it will save uh, this listing as a draft. And then whenever you want to, you can go back to this draft and you can uh, finish up the listing. And so if you have to step away for a phone call or you realized you didn't have all the information you need, just click on save and continue. And the drafts, I wanna say, are saved like up to a certain amount of time, like maybe 30 days or 90 days, I'm not really sure. I don't use the draft feature a lot because I figure once I start listing with the templates, it goes so quickly that I can usually you know, finish up anything I need to um, right now. You can also click on preview listing if you want to see what it's going to look like to buyers before you actually list it, you can get a preview of that. But since we know this is looking the way we want it to, we're going to click on that list item. And by doing that, we can check out our listing. And there we go. We already have a one page view for this, for this listing and you see all your photos. Right here, when you click on it, you can get the, uh, the bigger view. Okay, so this looks good. So that is uh, listing all five of the items that we picked up for our Flipping 20 Challenge. One last thing I want you to look at while you're on um, this page is if you do need to make any changes, there is a, uh, a list right here on the left-hand side on the top that says, Revise Your Item. So if you click on that, what you're going to be able to do, 
is you're going to be you're going to recognize this we were just on this page you're going to be able to go back and you're going to be able to make any changes that you want so say that you made a mistake with um, your shipping or say that um, the size is incorrect or you want to add more photos you can just click on that revise your listing come right back to the listing page make any changes um, that you see fit and then once you're done just like we did before we scroll straight to the bottom and you will be able to update your listing so you make whatever changes you want you click on update listing and it will save those changes and now your buyers will see that updated listing Okay, so anybody who has made it this far, I want to uh, applaud you because it was a little bit of a dry video today with just listing. Everyone knows that, you know, it, it takes a, a bit of patience and a little bit of fortitude to get through those listings. But if you did finish up, I want to say thank you for taking the time uh, to really see how, how I do it and how I list my items. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm at... Uh, flipping20challenge at gmail.com. Uh, just email me any questions and I can hopefully go over that. Um, this is not the end of the Flipping 20 Challenge. I'm going to be updating you with upcoming videos for any um, offers that I receive, anything that I sell. I'll be doing a shipping video when I do sell something and need to send that out. And once we have money coming in, we'll be able to go and source some more items and do this all over again, uh, hopefully making some more templates and making some more sales after that. So uh, thanks so much for being here with me today, and I will be back shortly with some haul videos and more Flipping 20 Challenge.